from Lizzie's Roller Gems. Um, I'm here to make your diamond painting experience a little bit more awesome today. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. Um, today I'm doing a weapon chat on my Aura Loa. It is a craft room fiasco. It's the one that my granddaughter decided she wanted to make a pretty um, tray of all different colors of gems and I had to order more. I still don't know if I got the right amount because <laughs> I'm not done this painting. It feels like it's forever. This is like the longest canvas I think I've ever worked on. And I want to do other projects, but then it's sitting on my desk and I'm like, do I really want to pull this off and then pull it back on? And that's kind of like the dilemma I'm in today. I just wish I had a bigger craft room where I had two desks and I could do multiple projects, but um, unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. I wish I did, honestly. I think I'm gonna do this, no, maybe I'll do the, I'll do the teas, which are scattered around this little bit of confetti down here. Maybe I'll try to get some of that confetti worked on while I'm talking to you guys. So it is Sunday. I do have a live today. And you know me, I am terrible at putting up my lives early. I'll try to do it after I film this video, but I wanted this video for maybe Monday or Tuesday. I haven't decided yet which day I'm gonna put it up. I I throw my whipping chats out there. I don't have a regular schedule programming. Maybe I should start, but right now, I'm not as organized as I used to be. I used to be so organized. I used to know what I was doing, blah, blah, blah. I put them out on these days. I was very consistent and then it all went to poop. Literally poop. Yeah. So I don't <laughs> have all that because I was doing all this work and I wasn't getting very far. And I'm thinking, why am I putting in all this effort when I'm not receiving any back. And that was why I kind of went by Kosh, but I really want to try to get back into the swing of things. And one thing I want to do is um, I figured out um, a new storage system that I want to make and I want to put that out. And um, I want to start filming that, but that's a lot of work and I'm thinking do I really want to start this big project today so I don't know so maybe after this weapon chat if I get motivated and I feel really good after this weapon chat maybe I'll get motivated to pull all this off my desk and give you guys that video another thing I wanted to show um I have an announcement as well so Tia asked me if I would do Splish Splash Spring Bash with her and I said of course because I love hanging out with Tia. So me and Tia, Tia's crazy craft addiction are going to be doing Splish Splash Spring Bash. She's going to be hosting it. I'm going to be her co-host and I am also um, going to be a sponsor. Me and Clem, we make 3D stuff. And this is one of the things that we made. And we made especially for Tia, but then we started making a whole bunch of them. So yeah, we're gonna give away some of these. It's a butterfly tray. So you can either put your phone on it or um, I can't put my phone on it because I'm filming on my phone or my tablet, which is way over there. It's just a stand to put your phone or your tablet on. Because I know a lot of us diamond painters like to watch videos as we are diamond painting. So this would be a nice tray to, for you to put your um, iPad on or your tablet on and watch me or your Kindle or anything like that. And um, yeah, so we started making these. And then it has a spot here where you could put the cord through. I'm assuming that's what that's for. And it goes up here so that your phone is not 
is still being charged. Um, I don't think that would work on an iPad unless you had the iPad standing upright. But yeah, um, we're making these. Now, right now, all I have is this glow-in-the-dark one because um, that's all the filament we have at the moment. I'm going to get some rainbow and I'm going to make some rainbow ones. So I don't know if I'm going to give out these ones or rainbow ones. We'll see if I get motivated to buy the rainbow. Like we don't really have a craft store. We just do this for fun, but we make a lot of them. <laughs> this is what he made me today so that I could use this for something and I have no clue what to use this for. <laughs> If you have any suggestions, I thought maybe if I start buying putty that people put in baggies, I can put them in here. Um, I really don't know what I can use this for, but it is pretty cute. Look at the, look at that carvings in it. It's really cute. I could put my putty in here, I guess. I can make a house for my turtle. <laughs> uh, I'm just crazy today. Because it doesn't fit like that sticks out. So it doesn't fit good for that. I don't know. I could put extra. I have extra. I have one extra container. I could put my putty in here. I don't know what I could use this for. I still don't know what I can use this for. So that's just the thing. If you guys have any suggestions of what. I thought maybe a, tr a trash tray. Especially if you have a really bad painting, there's lots of room. And then there's these black spots in here. I'm not even sure how they got in there, but they don't come off. So, I don't know what that is. Anywho, that's that. I just thought I'd show you guys what we've been working on. And um, our little title is going to be uh, CNL Creations. <laughs> even though we don't have a store. But, um, yeah, tell me guys if you guys like that little phone stand and a uh, tray holder. And we make other stuff. We've made gnomes. Um, I've made gnomes. We've made bunnies. We've made these kind of gnomes. This one kind of broke. The tip of it broke. So, oh gosh, he's stuck. My gnome stuck. My gnome stuck. How did I get him in there? And we make these kind of gnomes. He did have a pointier hat, but it chipped off. But he's my favorite one. I love the colors. I love the color of the rainbow ones. I just love them. So, yeah, I used to get rainbow because, you know, it makes different color stuff. You know, this obviously was rainbow too, but it used up all the green to make this one. This guy could like stab somebody, honestly. He's got a very pointy hat. But yeah, those are the kind of things that we make. But we just do it for fun. And then me and him yesterday, we went to Niagara Falls to drop off a listen on the way back. We we're talking, he's like, well, if you could start a business and work from home, and I'm thinking, well, what can I make? Like, I'm not very uh, productive that way. Like, I'm not very creative that way. So, like, I don't know. Cause like, I hate my job. It's not that I like hate the company cause it's, that's not the reason why I hate my job. I hate my job cause my body hurts. My body hurts a lot. It hurts a lot from working. And um, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired of it. So I got my mouse here, jeez Louise Liz. I'm all over the place this morning and then you can see my boobs, but I don't care. You're gonna, you're gonna have to deal with my boobs because they're there and uh, that's the way I have the camera set. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much there's a tea there, for Pete's sakes, Liz. I was trying to watch, I was watching Chris, only Chris, she was live and I'm like, I need to get motivated. I need to film. Liz, wake up and film. I even got a Timmy's this morning thinking it would give me energy, but 
But I feel like they put sugar in my coffee because it's super sweet. And I only asked for one sweetener. Unless they put two sweetener in it. I don't know. I can't tell the difference anymore between sweetener and sugar. And someone that doesn't like sweetener would be able to tell. But I can't tell the difference. So I don't know. Because I feel it's making me sluggish. I'm thinking maybe they put sugar in it because they're dumb that way. They're not they're not the brightest over at that Tim Hortons downtown, I tell you. So that's what I did this morning. I went down to Timmy's and got us a real coffee. I say real coffee because I think it tastes better than the ones you make at home. That's just me though. And uh, yeah. That's what I did this morning, and it's super hot in here. It's 24 degrees in here, and I think it's a nice day outside. That's why my room's super hot. I could try to open up the window, but I have not. Maybe if I let some cool air in here, I'd feel better. But then you're going to hear all the noises, all the noises outside. Um, the other day, my neighbor had, I don't know what he was doing. He had these snowmobiles and he pulls it out right in the front lawn. I'm like, dude, there's no snow. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing and, he, and they're on and I'm like, what are the heck are you doing? Uh, I don't know, it's a new neighbor. I've never talked to them. She said hi to me before, but that's about as much conversations I've had with the new neighbors. I've just said hello to his wife. And uh, I don't go outside much, so that would be why. Plus it's winter. So, there's that as well. Even though there's no snow on the ground. And the clams like yesterday. I really want all this brown to go away and green to come. And I'm like, hmm. <sighs> In a rush for the summer and then it's just going to be winter again. I'm enjoying this winter. I'm not complaining at all about this winter. It was like the best winter ever. <laughs> like zero, pretty much snow. And I loved every single minute of it. And I hope Ontario starts doing this more often because Southwestern Ontario, because I can live with no snow. We didn't nearly have as many snow dumps as we did last year. And um, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. So hopefully we don't get a huge dump out of the blue cause that would, that would suck. Cause it is March already. And I know it's April showers bring May flowers, but April is gonna be the month of all coolness here on this channel um we had so much fun on that um i just want to thank tia for having me again for love is in the air there's my little thing love is in the air love is in the air i don't know what this is i don't know if there was another heart here or what the heck this is it looks like it's glue but maybe there was something there and it fell off I don't know. And look, there's a mark here. I got this from the dollar store. Oh, look, Dollarama. I paid two seventy five for it at Dollarama. Um, so I had to just have it there off to the side. It fell. Maybe that's where I got the scratch from. And I don't know. There must have been another little heart or something over there. I don't remember. So, yeah, I had so much fun. Tia with Tia. She's a hoot. Don't pollute. She's funny. But this Laverne and Shirley thing, okay, let's just get it straight. 
I need to be Laverne. I should just show up on a live with her with an L on my shirt. Oh my God, wouldn't it be just hilarious if I did that? I don't think she watches my whipping chats. <laughs> Cause that would be hilarious. Uh, it'd be so funny. Cause she keeps on calling me Shirley and I'm like, listen, 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 Linda, you're Shirley. <laughs> I'm Laverne and I, I'm gonna stick with that. I think, I think so. I would drink something weird like Coke and Pepsi, okay? I mean, not Coke and Pepsi, uh, Pepsi and milk. It wasn't that her trademark. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh my gosh, I haven't watched Laverne and Shirley in for like ever. My mom used to call it the Jewish Panladish, means the two lesbians. I don't know why she thought they were lesbians. <laughs> my mom you know she's old-fashioned and weird so you know maybe because they live together she thought they were but they're not Portuguese I tell you they have a mixed notion of things um, yeah growing up Portuguese was something something else I tell you something else don't get me wrong. I loved my parents. They were they were awesome. My dad was super awesome. He was a funny, funny man. Funny, funny, funny man. And uh, I loved him to death. And he loved us to death. And he loved he loved Sarah so so much. Like he only remember well. He passed away when Tyler was just a baby, so he mostly um, remember. Well, had a Sarah. Her, him, and my mom used to watch her when I went to work, and he would do it. This is when he was sober, and when he wasn't sober, but majority of it was when he was sober. Um, and. Uh, he would go buy her diapers and, you know, do all the things for, for, for Sarah. Sarah was their baby because they watched her while they went to work. And then towards the end, um, it's when he started up drinking again and killed himself. Well, he didn't kill him. Well, the drinking killed him, but. He started back up again and he shouldn't have and it was just too much and he died from sclerosis to the liver not a pretty death at all not a pretty death um you suffer so if you drink a lot and you're an alcoholic i'm just warning you <laughs> that is not a pretty death um i went through it with my father and maybe that's why I don't drink much. I don't drink very much at all. I do drink once in a while, but I used to in my 20s. I used to get drunk, you know, do the fun things. Everybody else did, but now it, it, it's not as appealing to me anymore. Um, I don't like the feeling of being drunk. I don't like the feeling of being high. Um, I, I don't like not being in control of my body and, uh, yeah, some people like it. I, you know, everybody's like, Liz, you should really smoke some weed. It'll help your back. And I just, I just can't. Don't ask me why. Because it is legal here. Like, I live in Canada. And marijuana is totally legal here. But, uh, I just can't do it. Like I said, I like to be in control of my head and what I'm thinking. Um...
maybe I'd be more fun. <laughs> Could you imagine me filming a video stoned? Oh gosh, you guys would all be probably peeing your pants. <laughs> if I was. I hope I make you pee your pants now, but I might make you pee them a little bit more. But yeah. I'd probably forewarn you too. By the way, I'm intoxicated. <laughs> Forewarning, warning, warning. No. I. This is just me. This is just crazy. Crazy Liz. I should call myself. Tia says her name is Crazy Craft Addiction because she's got a crazy addiction to crafts. Well, maybe I should call myself Lizzie's Crazy World of Gems. <laughs> Because sometimes it gets a little crazy over here. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was watching a lot of videos. I've noticed a lot of new channels come up on my feed. Which is like a lot of... There's a lot of diamond painting channels out there now. A lot, a lot, a lot. No wonder it's so hard for me to compete against all these wonderful people out there. I saw some videos this week and that made me laugh my head off. Um, you know, some videos that make me like hit myself in the head, like what the hell? <laughs> I get a lot with that person's videos so It's like, what the fuck? I swore. I'm sorry, guys. I do have a potty mouth. Bet you guys never knew that about me. I do. I work in a factory. I has got a potty mouth. Uh, but that's how I feel sometimes when I see something like that. It's like, what the F are you? Are you kidding me now? When I get mad, too, I swear a lot. That's mainly when... A lot of my swearing comes out is when I'm mad or like I'm trying to like tell you something that's pissed me off. A lot of the swear words come out. And I think I think it's normal. No? Or am I just or am I just got a trucker's mouth? I don't know. But I think it's normal, like you can ask. Some of the people that talk to me on uh, Messenger, I all throw out the F bar once in a while because I'm like, what's that beep? What's going on around here? Yep, it's true. I wouldn't lie to you. Hey, they even said it in court when I was watching that trial. They were swearing at it, and I'm like, oh, are they allowed to do that in court? I guess they are if they're quoting somebody. That's the um, Brian Montgomery case. That was an awful case. Share the new case coming out in Florida where that girl's boyfriend killed her 13-year-old daughter makes it scary you know it makes it scary and it makes it so scary you just don't know who you're gonna talk to or meet like I don't know how those two met like I don't know them roundabout of how they met or if they met through an app or Maybe they met through a mutual friend. I don't know all the details of their relationship, but it makes you wonder who you bring in your life, right? Nobody wants to bring in someone that's going to hurt their children. That would be the last thing. If I ever, like, I had a boyfriend that stole from my kids, and that was it. That was the last straw. Like, you're out. Like, you don't steal from my children. Like, that's rude, that's disrespectful, and you don't steal from my kids, you know. It's one thing if you steal money out of my wallet or something like that, but don't steal my kids' Christmas gifts. That was, that was uncalled for, 
and that was the last he's seen of him in my house. Then he had the audacity to try to mail it back to me, saying that the mail was wrong and he tried to forge the the, the cards because like my kids used to get a gift card, like a MasterCard gift card from their aunt and uncle that lived far away at the time. That, well, they live in St. Mary, St. Thomas now, but at the time I think they lived close to Ottawa and he stole their gift cards. I found them in his pocket of his coat because he had my bank card. So I went to go get my bank card out of his coat and I found these gift cards and I realized, you know, hmm, their aunt and uncle didn't send them anything this year. What's going on? Sure enough, they were in his pocket and I was pissed. Cause I called her, I said, did you mail out? And she's like, yeah. I said, were they this color? And she said, yeah. And I'm like, bingo. Ass hole. There, I swore again. It's okay, because I can't stand them. And uh, yeah, that was the end of our relationship. And it was Christmas Eve when I found out. Not Christmas Eve. New Year's Eve, so I kicked him out on New Year's Eve for the day to kick somebody out, but I did. And it took him all day to get kicked out, but for him to actual leave. But I did it. You don't steal from my children. That's just rude. Yeah. Kids come first, I think, in any relationship. If you're a parent, I don't care. You know, and some people that have little kids have a very hard time in relationships because sometimes the other person just doesn't want an instant family and that's okay too, just like in Love is Blind. Like, I honestly think he didn't go for Maria because she had a child. Even though he said it wasn't, I feel like it was. Cause when he saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so flipping hot. But I think she's hot that he'd want to like, just have a one night stand with. She's not one that he'd want to have, I don't know, a relationship with, I don't know. Kardashian hot is what they call her. On a Love is Blind. Has anybody watched it? <laughs> Blaine? Susan. Well, I've already watched Love is Blind before. But the new season I hadn't watched it yet. And then Susan's like, Liz, Liz, you gotta watch this. Okay, this, this season. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll start watching it. And then I'm like, watching and watching all day. And binge watching it the last weekend. And then all of a sudden it stops. I'm like, what the hell? You didn't tell me the season wasn't over yet. So I gotta wait now. I just watched the newest one. I think next week is of actual win or die weddings. Or are they gonna pick each other? I think this year though, I think a lot of them, I don't know. This is just my prediction because I don't know what's gonna happen. But I think that maybe a lot of them are going to actually stick together. I think I need some um, diet 7-Up. I think I need some pop in my life right now. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back. Ah, uh, bye heck. Did you miss me? I got some 7-Up in my daughter's cup. I so got busted. Look at the straw from drinking iced tea out of it. It like stained. Seven up. Diet seven up. Love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. What was I doing? The AIDS. I was doing the AIDS. Back to what I was talking about. The love is in the air. Well, anyways, we're going to see what happens. But I feel like a lot of the couples are going to stay married. 
I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. I thought they were going to be together and they walked out. So I guess we'll wait and see what happens. I guess we'll wait and see. Um, yeah. Can't wait. There's some R's here. Maybe I'll fill in the R's. I hate, I hate all this little stuff everywhere. My sister calls. She wants to come over. She's so annoying. She wants to come over. She's like, oh, are you guys going anywhere? Because I need to bring some stuff down to the garage. Blah. And I'm like, oh. I don't know. I'll let you know. Bye. A <laughs> cup on her. Ah, uh, she comes over, she's going to be mad because my kitchen is not very clean right now. The counter is messy. I need to go clean it. But I haven't had the motivation to go over there yet. I will. We got a portable dishwasher coming. In beginning of April, and Clem's like, I don't really see the point of a portable dishwasher. We don't have any room for it. And I'm like, yeah, you don't see the point in the portable dishwasher because you don't do the dishes. That is why you don't see a point in the portable dishwasher. If you had to do the dishes every day, you would see the point of the portable dishwasher. So, yeah, that's something new and exciting coming to the house that my sister bought, which means she's probably coming with it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll wait and see. She hasn't been here all weekend. So, yeah. They must be getting along this week. So that is that. What else is new? I took Alyssa back. Her boyfriend, <sighs> Clem got sick in the morning. I thought, oh my gosh, she's not gonna be able to wanna drive. I don't wanna drive all the way to Niagara. I hate driving to Niagara. And I'm like, oh. I said to her, do you think your boyfriend's mom would drive you too? But she wanted to do grocery shopping. She's like, I can go with them, but I really wanted to go with you guys. And Clem's like, no, I can go. And I'm like, okay. He felt better after. He's like, just give me a half an hour. So we gave him this half an hour. And then he said he was okay to go. Oh, I still see an R. Two R's right there. And, um, yeah. We left. We hit the road, and then I said, let's go to the Costco. And I don't know why I thought there was a Costco in. <laughs> okay, because we take, you have to know the streets around here to understand what I'm talking about. So you Canadians that live in Ontario, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So I said, let's go on. Um, there's a Costco by the Lincoln Parkway, but I didn't realize it was at the beginning of the Lincoln Parkway and not at the end of the Lincoln Parkway. For some reason, I thought the Costco was at the end of the Lincoln Parkway. But Alyssa did find one in Stony Creek. So I'm like, okay, we're going to go to this Costco in Stony Creek because it's on the way to Niagara on the Lake. Because she, she goes to school on Niagara on the Lake. Now, she's in the Niagara region. There is a region. She's in the Niagara region, but Niagara Falls is like 10 minutes away from Niagara on the lake. And 10 minutes the other way, you're in St. Catharines. So we do a lot of shopping in St. Catharines. Um, barely ever do we actually go into Niagara Falls. Now, sometimes we used to go to go to Costco, but the last time I went to that Costco, they didn't have the the breakfast burritos that she likes, but they have them in London, Ontario. And then I thought, well, maybe Stony Creek will have it. Well, no, they didn't. They only had ham ones. So she ended up getting some of those anyways. She bought a few things at Costco and then we drove 
took her to residence. She dropped off the stuff from Costco and her clothes, and then we headed off to the Penn Center, which is a mall in St. Catharines, because she likes to shop at that Walmart. Alyssa has high anxiety, so she likes to go places that doesn't have too much traffic. And Costco was already giving her, you know, the, ah, I got to get out of here vibes. So, um, we went to Costco. We did that. She wasn't too happy about how many people were there, but she made it through. She made it through Costco. We came out. And while we were in Costco, Clem went over to Fire Firehouse Subs and got us a sub each so that we could kill two, bow, uh, two birds with one stone. So he got us a sub, but he didn't get me a drink. And I'm like, Ugh, I really need a drink. So when I got to residence, uh, um... Alyssa went and got me a drink because out of their like little canteen thing because I'd have to go through the door which means I'd have to have signed in so she went and got it for me and she got me um one of those what do you call them Gatorades but the zero with no sugar so she got me one of them instead of a pop and uh that's why I think I'm liking the 7-Up right now because I haven't had pop in so long. It's pop, okay? I'm Canadian. It's pop. It's not soda. It's pop. Pop, okay? We call it pop. It's not soda. Who calls it soda? No, it's pop. <laughs> uh, I used to get in that argument with Billy all the time because he'd call it soda. I'm like, no, it was pop. What are you talking about? Um, so, I am really liking pop right now. So I've been drinking that. Today how me talking here by myself your mouth gets very uh, pasty oh my gosh I need to get bifocals I need to break down and buy some bifocals I just don't want to admit that my eyes are old and probably from my diabetes they're not getting any better because I tell you I have to diamond paint with my glasses on the tip of my nose so I can actually see these symbols even with the damn light pad on. That's why I can't I can't work without the light pad, guys. And I'm sorry if the light pad bothers you guys, but I can't. I can't. My eyes are getting bad. I'm getting old. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that I had a heart monitor on. Um, last weekend. And it was super itchy, and I think I was an, I was allergic to the tapes on the on the stickers. And um, well, anyways, um, Friday they called. No, Thursday they called me at work, and they told me that um, my doctor wants to see me, so I have to go on Tuesday at two fifty to find out the results. So that's been kind of on my mind too. I'm kind of worried about what they found on my heart monitor. So that's another thing that's been weighing heavily on my mind. And you know, heart disease is very big in my family, especially because of our diabetes. Um, my mom had heart disease, my sister Helen has heart disease, my brother died of heart, well he had a heart attack, but I'm pretty sure he had heart disease as well. And yeah, so that's why he's was very worried and wants to find out what's going on with me. So, that is why I went and got the heart monitor put on. And now he has results, so I'll let you guys know when I find out the results. I 
don't know yet. I'm gonna do N. Not being on your best health and your body and your muscles, you know, takes a toll on you. Doesn't make you very motivated, you know. And that's how I feel right now. I'm not very motivated. And I need to snap out of it. So. That's that. Yeah, I hate doing these little bits because mm, they're just constantly changing colors and it drives me cuckoo bananas. Cuckoo banana. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I miss them. Even though there's just a little bits here, I miss them. Like they're coming out of style. And they do them like three or four times before I get them all. And it's like so repetitive and blah, and blah, blah, blah. Six, there's a few sixes. I know six is over here, guys, right here. I see a few sixes. Let's just get them, get them filled out. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to. She got quite a few groceries. We went to Walmart. We got the rest of her groceries. Then I took her back and by this time her boyfriend was already there. So he helped to bring in the stuff from Walmart and I said my goodbyes and we left. Then we went over to the outlet mall. We got ourselves some cake boss because Clem really wanted some cake boss this week. So we went and got him some cake boss. And then last night I was on the phone with <laughs> Tia. She called me and he was eating the red velvet one. He's like, oh, I saved you half. It was a little bit more than half because he didn't like the red velvet. I'm like, fine. So I ate the rest of it. Then this morning I woke up and he was eating and he's like, oh, I saved you half of the confetti cakes. The confetti cake is my favorite. I'm like, what? You ate it without me? And then he did not leave me half of the confetti cake. He left me a piece this big, this big. Oh, that's half. I'm like, what, half a bite? So yeah, I didn't get much of my confetti cake. I was sad. I was sad this morning. I shouldn't be eating it anyway, but you know, <sighs> us people have cravings. No, I never liked sweets before until after I become a diabetic and you're told you shouldn't eat sweets anymore. Yeah, that's when I start liking sweets. My weakness is bread and you know what? I've been really good at cutting out the bread lately because that's my biggest weakness is bread. I love me some bread. Give me all the bread. Give me all the bread. <laughs> Honestly. I love bread. That is my biggest weakness. It's bread and potatoes. <gasps> Do I ever love potatoes? I love everything bad for you. Yeah. You know, when they say supplement cauliflower, I see that crap at work and I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> they, they also do pasta made out of pea flour and 
cauliflower. I've never tried the, I like to try the cauliflower one. We haven't done it, but we don't do them very often. The next time I did cauliflower, because now we're allowed to take a bag at the end of a run. So if there's bags that they can't, uh, usually go to the food bank. Only if they're our product. If they're another company, we're not allowed to put them in the food bank. But, um, I want to try the cauliflower pasta and see if it's any good. Uh, what else? We don't really have anything else pretty new at work. It's always the same stiff. It's always the same stuff. I heard a car. I hope it's not my sister. Uh. She's just so loud. I don't want to deal with her today. Oh, it is her. Well, I guess this is my cue to end this video. And uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm gonna try to film other videos if she'll leave me alone. She's so loud. She's loud. She's loud. I'm whispering because she's in the other room. <laughs> We're telling secrets now. See how loud she is. <sighs> anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic week <laughs> and I will see you guys on Sunday for my live. Till next time, take care everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.